450 main event, round number four, Indianapolis, Indiana. The man with the red plate, Ken Roxon, by just one point. What would he do tonight, Ricky? You know how important the start is. Yeah, it is. Look at Joey Savacci. He comes firing out with the number one of Eli Tomac. Puts the doubters of his starting ability to shame coming out with the whole shot. And watch this, the 16 of Osborne. He tries to barge. The gate drops, holds him up dead last, but he would get the last lap. And how about Justin Barsha having problems in traffic here? Yeah, look at that. Just gets tangled up on the rear wheel of Joey Savacci. Then he takes Malcolm Stewart down with him, kicks Malcolm Stewart's bike over. Barsha back up and running. Eli Tomac now out in the lead. And is he going to check out? Watch this. Left-hander washes out. Ah, perfect position. And this is really hate to see Eli Tomac making these type of mistakes for the caliber of champion that he is. But uh, he'll remount. Ken Roxon, after several laps of following Adam Cianciarulo, says, I've had enough of this. I'm not following the green anymore, and makes the pass. Yeah, he was working him, working and working him. He tried to make that pass several laps before he actually completed it and uh, finally did that. It was time to go because the one was all over him. Like you see Eli Tomac crosses up underneath his teammate Adam Cianciarulo. He knew he didn't want the 94 to get too far ahead. And watch Adam, AC just goes, that was totally an unforced air. Yeah, it was. He went to uh, lean the bike over and the track was a little dry and loose on top. He just lost grip. Not the end of unforced airs on the night is Ken Roxon goes rogue, pulls a crazy Ivan and goes off course. Well, we saw a lot of guys go off course on that double because of all the ruts and it was just kind of grabbing them and putting them off to the left hand side. Dylan Ferrandez did the same thing. So Eli Tomac gets back in the lead and Ken Roxon says, oh no, 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 we're not having a replay of last week. I'm taking this back. Yeah, well, well Ken gave him a gift. Eli's probably like, nice. And then Eli says, he wasn't expecting this, but watch this pass. Ken saw the door open up and boom, he pounced on it. Cooper Webb says, I want to be on the highlight. So here he comes. He sizes up AC, sees the number nine, goes to the inside, and Cooper Webb gets himself a podium position. But it was all about Ken Roxon and German precision tonight. Well, it sure was. And you can see the defending champ, Eli Tomac. He's going to make a run for it. I think he's going to try to get by him in the whoops, but he comes up short, and that'll end his chances. So Ken Roxon would take his Honda around the final corner, and he would get the victory in Indianapolis. Round number four is his. Ken Roxon greets the family as the winner of round number four.